Hi, parents. Deacon John Wilson here, uh, just to give you some tips about applying to Howard University based on mistakes I've seen in previous years. Uh, and that's the early action for Howard, which now it's eight days away. This is the point of no return. But some of these things you only have tomorrow to get it done. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Before I do that, something that's true about all these early action schools, sometimes your students just trying to apply to too many. And if they have a lot of supplemental essays, you really dilute the quality pretty badly, particularly if they're doing it on their own. And I mean, if they're working with a counselor, it's pretty much doing it on their own. Um, you know, we might be able to help, but it's a little late. You can check with us. But that's a real problem. So really, I like to see students have two, maybe three early action schools. More than that, things get a little stressful. You know, it really is hard on kids. They better have extremely good writing skills to even try it. I don't mean just good. They're a good writer. Um, they have to be able to adjust their writing to college essays and not do a creative writing thing or something that doesn't, it's difficult to answer the question. So don't have them do too many, please, parents. Now let's talk about Howard University. The early, act, early action application is due, everything complete, meaning the transcripts have to be in, transcripts have to be in, and any SAT score should be, like the scores from the November test should be addressed by in the application, you're saying you're going to take it in November. Uh, you should probably send your earlier scores so you, you can show growth in your scores. If you're going to take the December test, there still is just enough time for Howard to see them, uh, but you have to tell them in the application. A lot of times people don't tell them, and the application is just reviewed for admission based on the GPA, but then you can't get any money because they need the SAT scores. Um, sometimes they'll take them later and evaluate you for money, but I'm telling you, most of their money is given out as merit awards to early action students. I really hope you understand that. So you need to have the SAT scores for October sent in. The November and December, you should note in the application that you're going to provide them. There's a section for SAT scores where they ask that. Then third, you need to get the application in on time. Please don't let it go to Halloween night trying to get it in. Just, I'm telling you in advance, the server will be jammed. And if you're late, they won't take any excuses. The biggest problem I see is that transcript, though. It's got to go out this week. If they tell you to go to a third-party provider like Parchment, get, get on Parchment's website, get it sent right away. And then you really need to call Howard University on the 31st and see if they have it. You have to stay on hold for a long time, but you really should make sure they have it. Because they claim they got it later or whatever. That's a technicality you can't afford. You really should have sent your transcripts last week. Uh, we've talked about that a lot, but get them out this week if you can. Finally, uh, if you're just starting it, then you realize you have they only are taking the Common App essay this year. There does not appear to be a supplement. I, check again. If you were early in the season, you might feel that there is a supplement. But let me see if I can show you this. This is a shot from the Howard University part of the Common App. If you go all the way to the bottom, it specifically says, this college does not use a writing supplement for any additional writing requirements. So they used to have, under co college questions, they used to have an essay in here, but I do not see an essay any longer. Uh, we tried it with early action, regular action. We put in different majors and we did not see it. I bet for certain majors, they'll email you for additional writing. They did say that if you're going to do, um, I think it was, uh, let me see. Let's go back to the, to the Common App and see. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's go down here to Howard. They're saying nine days to the deadline, see. So there you go. If you go into Howard. Somewhere I saw, uh, I don't think it affected this. Let me see. 
Uh, nope. It acts like there's one, but there's not one. Now, I'll check with Howard. And I'll sure let you know, but you just need to get that common app, that common app essay done. We could help you get started, but you need to hurry up and get that done. There's a lot of people applying to Howard this year, and they definitely will cut off if people are late. All right, I hope that helps you. I'll be doing a number of other short videos on other aspects of the process that are that are uh, relevant right now. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, as always, get a hold of me. You have my email address, holythinkers at gmail.com. God bless you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.